Have you ever wondered how giants like Amazon, FedEx, and USPS orchestrate their vast fleets of delivery trucks? At this very moment, millions of vehicles are crisscrossing the globe to deliver packages to billions of customers. Managing such a mammoth fleet, ensuring optimal routes, and keeping drivers on track is a Herculean task. Today, I will unravel some of the magic behind real-time fleet management, spotlighting Kinetica's Match Supply Demand Solver. This demo is set up to illustrate two parts of a real-time fleet management system. The first uses the MSDO solver to find optimal routes for trucks so that they can deliver packages to customers at the lowest cost possible. Once we have the optimal routes, we need to make sure that the delivery trucks are actually following these routes in real time. So in the second part, we'll use simulated GPS data that mimics delivery trips to trigger alerts in real time if a truck is too far ahead or too far behind these optimal routes. These two pieces taken together will form the backbone of our real-time fleet management system. Let's dive in. You can find the workbook for this demo in Kinetica's example workbook repo. This repo maintains a set of workbooks that showcase different features and capabilities of Kinetica. Each example folder contains workbook files in two formats, JSON and SQL. Let's open up the raw JSON file and copy its URL. Now let's head on over to Workbench, Kinetica's notebook tool. Importing a workbook into Kinetica is a breeze. All I need is a URL we just copied, and voila, we have the workbook we need. A workbook is divided into worksheets that make it easy to organize your analysis. Let's start with the data worksheet. We need the following data for this demo. Road network data for Washington DC area, which you'll use to create a graph that we can issue the MSDO solver against. Customer data that provides the location, the number and volume of packages. Truck data that gives us information about the starting locations and capacity constraints in the form of number and volume of packages each truck can carry. And finally, the real time simulated GPS locations of delivery trucks that we will use to trigger alerts. The static customer, truck, and road network data for this demo is stored on a public S3 bucket on AWS, while the simulated GPS locations are being logged into a Kafka topic that is managed by Confluent. Let's create data sources that identify the S3 bucket and the Kafka topic so that we can load data from them. The first thing we want to load is the road network data from the S3 bucket. This table contains the shape of the road segment, whether it's one way or two way, the time it takes to traverse it, and the length of the segment. We can use this data to create a native directed graph representation of this road network. The create graph query converts each road segment into a graph edge. It applies the time for traversing a road segment as the weight for each edge. Each edge in the graph has a direction associated with it. The map below shows the graph. Let's zoom in and click on an edge on this graph network. We can see the associated data here that shows the edge along with its weight and direction. Next, let's load the customer data into Kinetica from the S3 bucket. Each customer is identified using an ID. The table records their location, the number and volume of packages they need, and the time penalty that is associated with unloading packages at that customer location. The truck table shows the starting locations of each truck, the number and volume of packages it can carry, and the region it belongs to. The last input for this demo is the simulated real-time GPS coordinates of delivery trucks. These routes are generated using a Kafka producer that pushes new GPS coordinates to a Kafka topic that is hosted on Confluent Cloud. To approximate real life, I have made some delivery drivers faster and some slower. We can go to the data tab and inspect the table information. Keep an eye on the number of records. You will see that every few seconds, we have new data flowing into Kinetica. The map below shows the location of these trucks as they appear in Kinetica. Now we have all the data inputs required for this demo. Let's first find the optimal routes. You can run all the code in a worksheet using the run all button. MSDO is a graph-based solver that takes three main inputs, a set of customers, a fleet of delivery trucks, and a graph representation of a road network of the area where these customers and trucks are located. Each customer has a requirement in terms of the number and volume of packages they need, and each truck is constrained by 
the number and volume of packages it can carry. Given these inputs, the MSDO solver finds the best combination of trucks and routes that can service these customers optimally. Before we go any further, I want to make note of the fact that while we're using the example of delivery trucks here, the MSTO is a generic solver that can be applied to other scenarios, like for instance, optimizing the power transmitted from transformers to multiple consumers with varying power needs, or the amount of gasoline carried by tankers to different gas stations. The main aim across all of these transport problems is that we want to find the best routes that satisfy demand side requirements without violating supply side constraints at the lowest possible cost. The solver also comes with optional parameters that can be used to fine tune its output. For instance, a truck that is taking a turn or coming to an intersection often has to slow down from its regular speed. The right, left, intersection and sharp turn penalties allow you to specify a cost to adjust for this. We have used a few more of these options for this particular solve. I won't go into the details for each of these, but the key takeaway here is that you can use these options to assert fine grain control over how these optimal routes are computed. You can read more about these options on our documentation website. Now let's go back to see the output from the solve. The map shows the optimal routes computed by the solver. The solver also allows you to specify an SVG based animated output that can be displayed via the browser. This shows the trucks moving along these routes. This particular animation is set to play at about 80 times the speed of the actual trucks. Now let's move to the second part of our real-time fleet management system. This part sets up a real-time alerting system that will be triggered if a delivery truck is moving too fast or too slow when compared to the optimal route. The map shows the current locations of the different delivery trucks. Let's start by examining the output from the MSDO solver. Each route can be identified by the track ID column. The timestamp column shows the cumulative time in seconds that it takes a truck to reach a particular X and Y coordinate from its starting location. Note that these timestamps are simply the delta values from the start of any trip, regardless of when it started. To generate the optimal route for a particular trip, we will need to add the start time of that trip for each of these optimal delta values. The data from Kafka identifies the start time for each delivery trip. Let's use that to identify the most recent start times for each delivery route. We can add these start time values to the delta values in the optimal route table to generate the expected optimal routes given a particular set of start times. This table shows the position each truck should be at given a particular point in time and a start time for that route. To identify whether a truck is leading or lagging an optimal route, we will use the distance of that truck to the next stop on a particular route and compare that to the distance for the optimal truck. At any given point, a truck could be en route to a customer location for a delivery or on its way back to the supply depot. So a stop could be either of these two types. Next, we will calculate the distance to the next stop for each optimal route. We will do the same for the actual routes as well. Let's compare the two for a single route. The y-axis on this chart shows the distance to the next stop and the x-axis represents the time. The blue line represents the actual delivery trip while the orange line shows the optimal route. We can see from the chart that the actual delivery truck is moving slower than the optimal truck since its distance to the next stop is greater than the optimal truck. Notice the sudden jump in the orange line. This happens when the optimal truck has reached a particular stop and has now switched to the next stop. The final step is to compare the distance to the next stop for the actual route against the optimal route. This materialized view calculates the distance gap and indicates whether a simulated truck is leading or lagging the optimal route. We can see this on the map where the blue tracks represent the simulated trucks while the orange represent the optimal truck positions. Some trucks are clearly lagging behind while others seem to be leading. A few seem to overlap the optimal routes. Now, we don't want to be staring at this map continuously to figure out which trucks are going too fast and which are going too slow. So the final step in our fleet management system is to set up an alert that is triggered automatically when a truck is too far ahead or too far behind the optimal truck. 
The alerts in this case will be sent when the absolute distance gap between the optimal and the actual truck is greater than 2 kilometers. For this demo, we will configure our stream to send alerts to a webhook. Let's head over to the site webhook.site. This site provides us a webhook and then listens for any data that is sent to it. Let's copy this webhook URL and paste it as our destination and run this query. Since this is a free website, the service is terminated after a period of time. So make sure to generate your own webhook and paste it as the destination before running this query. Now let's head back to the webhook.site to see if there are any alerts. As expected, we have a few alerts that are already streaming in. We can inspect the payload to see the ID of the truck, its current location, and whether it's leading or lagging the optimal route. And there you have it. This is a fully automated system that automatically sends alerts whenever a truck is going too fast or too slow when compared to the optimal route. There are a couple of things that are worth noting at this point. The reason this entire setup works is because we have set up a chain of materialized views that are all set to refresh in response to each other. Anytime there's an update to one of them, it cascades down the other views in the chain. Another piece to mention is that while we used a simple webhook to demonstrate the alerting capabilities, Kinetica can send alerts to other tools such as Slack and even a Kafka topic. Okay, that's it from our side. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. You can access the workbook that I used for this particular demo from our examples repo that is linked in the video description below. Thank you for watching.